Hi, hello, my name is Julia and I could be your mentor and have a go look at this video today. I wanted to speak about the quality, okay, because uh, the quality is something probably which I was holding back when making videos. I had this perspective, the idea that the more closer to the public, the more closer to the viewer, the more uh, recognized and accepted you will be. Okay, but I think I was wrong. Okay, I'm watching now at this moment and thinking this camera is good. Okay, this camera is good and the lighting is simple. Okay, and uh, yeah, the quality probably that's what will attract. Okay, the reason why I'm trying to change that because I am moving into the course format. Okay, I will be still doing the shootings and creating erotic fantasies for public and in shooting with models and stuff. But I have realized that I can share my passion with the wider public. And that means that, you know, everyone has hobbies, things to do. The photography is the is huge. Okay, the photography, you know, it's the huge interest from everyone, from uh, male auditorium and from women auditorium. So that is why I am starting my very simple, very basic program, okay, where my students can learn to make money on their course and pay for their course. Can you imagine? So I have decided that I will tell them uh, a secret, which is not a secret. There are a lot of starting out models who will need two pictures, adult portfolio right here and right now. And I can easily teach them how to do that, you know, easily teach them and easily can, uh, how to say, book those models in and, and get uh, uh, straight away working even the first month, okay? They don't need to know the whole of the photography, okay? That was my perspective, okay? That if I'm a photographer, I need to know everything about the photography. I need to try every angle of the photography. I need to try all these directions you know i have not shoot space photography but what i have done i had done all of them okay wedding photography event photography party photography boudoir glamour boudoir nudes explicit uh, fashion modeling okay families newborns uh, children you name it Okay, food, product photography, okay, I did uh, nature and I did uh, a lot of architecture and so on and so on. And I stopped on nudity, okay? The nudity is my topic and the nudity is my factor and it occurred to me that this is the easiest for me uh, to actually create art with people, okay? Because people... When they come into my vibe, into my atmosphere, they actually trust me that much that I can create with them and, and make them do things that they would not be able to do by themselves. And I can uh, draw them into scenarios and I can tell them, you know, the topics, what we shoot and how and that, and they can see it not in the way that we are making uh, porn, but in the way that we are creating adventures we're creating memories we're creating sexual energy we're experimenting the, with the body and every time i don't know what will happen during the shoot that's why for me it's so exciting because every client has a different stimulations okay different fantasies different kings different in general every person have their own cockroaches Okay, and that's what is fun about the photo shoot because the outcome is always surprising and I would like to be surprised every time. I don't want to shoot the same thing and shooting human body and nudity is the most intimate and the most sacred uh, situation, atmosphere that you can find okay not everyone would invite you in their bedroom and they would be fine with you undressing and uh, they would be fine you telling them you know what to do with their body how to perform and stuff okay so that is a very unique uh, opportunity okay every time i shoot i feel like i'm challenging my senses okay i always think how can i push myself what can different i create with this person how he would inspire me to make these 
kind of uh, scenarios or sets or lights uh, or, or to do something else. I am not that the photographer who will start the photo shoot from the same things. Okay, yes, we would start uh, uh, most of the time dressed or slowly undressed. That's the only same thing. But the lighting is is something what I how to say what I decide on the moment. Okay, and I changed the lighting. And today I've decided to make this uh, spring fresh light, and I like it. You know, I think you should see me now in a different format okay in a different way and the reason why i'm looking a lot of time into a camera because i have a camera here who's shooting me over there right and i have a screen in front of me and that's it you know i get used to look at the screen so something uh, some things in life we need to change to get uh, better results and i've decided to go professional and show myself in this light okay it just okay just 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 like that and um, of course i could set up this lighting a long time ago i was just wasn't ready okay probably i was just wasn't ready for the spotlight and i wanted to blend in okay and to blend in is not uh, always the right way okay to be fair in photography because of the such a you know high competition you actually need to stand out okay not to blend in not to make something what the others already doing but you actually need to make something new new moves new ideas create new fantasies and create new content and that's what i am all about okay about the high end creativity but because i am in business for so long and i know how to get those contacts and models and uh, i know the best way how to advise to do that fast okay i've created my course and everyone who would like to try adult photography for themselves will be will be taught on my course step by step okay what are decisions you you know when i went and studied photography here in london i had to choose and decide so many things about the equipment about the how to say the product i want to create about the portfolios about the images about the editing about the sets about the whole thing you know i i actually believe that the course which i was in for three years didn't give me any good okay it did challenge me okay because people who had no studio or had no like close-up setup to photography they failed okay so the best remain okay so hi hello but uh uh, it wasn't worth it, okay? It wasn't worth it the time. It wasn't worth it. I didn't learn any skills. The only thing what I bring from this course is different that I learned to express myself and speak maybe more or less properly English, okay? Because we had a lot of writing there, okay? We were uh, writing a lot uh, in that course. So I learned that okay and i can say that i paid for that okay but that wasn't the photography so what i'm saying is uh, the photography in general is 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 a, is a monster it's a big beast okay and I, I am now going into videography as well which is even bigger okay i mean like in in terms of diversity okay you can break the rules there i'm breaking in the photography but in the videos you can even do you know crazy stuff right especially with the editing okay the impact of the editing could be amazing so oh it's been a long time i've been live and sharing my experience and i'm just happy because i almost finished uh, setting up my course and it will be starting out soon and i will be giving you updates and this is my first uh, like official invitation now with proper settings, proper lightings, everything will be proper. Let's do it this way. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Kiss you a minute. Bye.